This is the Auto Grok Frickin' Tutorial. Lesson 2, Installing Crap. Auto Grok, Auto Grok, Auto, 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 Auto. You don't need to install AutoGen or Crew AI to work with Auto Grok, but you won't be getting the full benefit of the software. Maybe when Auto Grok grows up a little more, it will be as robust a standalone package as AutoGen is, but we're not there yet. Heck, Auto Grok is barely a month old. So I am going to strongly recommend you install AutoGen and AutoGen Studio. Matt Berman has a great video on how to do that. I'll link to it in the description below. Pause this video and come back to it when you're done. Are they gone? Do, do I have enough time to pee? Make it quick. If you're on Windows, you'll want to install Miniconda. That link will also be below. Autogrok will probably install fine on a standard Windows machine running Python 3.1.1, probably. But why chance it? Conda is cleaner. Go to my GitHub repository. Click on the ugly green code button and select the little copy icon. Then, from a command prompt, create a directory for Autogrok. CD into it and run this conda create command, specifying Python 3.11. A bunch of confusing stuff that nobody understands will garbage up your screen. If anybody's watching you, nod as if you know what it means. It makes you look very smart. Run the conda activate command. Then run this git clone command and paste in the path to the GitHub archive we copied earlier. Autogrok depends on seven different packages to run. But you can install them all at once by finding the directory I hid the requirements.txt file in and running the pip install dash requirements.txt command. This too will flood the screen with incomprehensible nonsense. Some of the nonsense will be in bright red. You can ignore it. Apparently it's not important unless it flashes and beeps. And we're done. Open whichever code editor you use and from inside that editor, open a terminal window. To run Autogrok, you simply need to call the stream lit run command and specify the path to the main.py file. Here I demonstrate what a bonehead I am by getting the path wrong. Don't do that. Type in the right path. It works way better that way. Thanks for watching. There are more tutorials to come. What did I miss? Did I miss anything? Autogrok. Autogrok.